Hey, what you guys are about to see is taken from a full hour session with John Patong Noor Nantachai. He was 118 pound Raja Damnern champion, but he is known as the master head kicker and in this session you will absolutely learn why. It's not only that he was an incredible head kick KO artist, but the people, the legends that he knocked out with this head kick is just absolutely incredible. Um, he's very sweet. He runs a restaurant in Bangkok. He is not actually training in Muay Thai. So um, it's really cool to have him in the Muay Thai library teaching his Muay because otherwise it would not be shared, which is part of what's so amazing about the Muay Thai library. If you enjoy this, I recommend you watch the full hour session. You can do that as a patron. Click on the link in the description below. <laughs> Basically want to pin them to that spot being like, no, nah, that's not so bad with these like body kicks. Do you see how indistinguishable, look at his standing leg. I know when you're looking at his kicking leg, you can see the difference between the body kick and the head kick because it goes differently. His standing leg does not change at all. He just kind of like whips his hip out a little bit wider and then just comes down like a little rainbow shot on that head kick. Exactly I'm trying to figure out how he's doing it. Like, I'm trying to figure out how. Do you see how Crudin? <laughs> his is much longer. He's coming with his back leg. John Patong liked to do it with his front leg, right? Because that's the open side. So it's like open side, open side, open side, head kick. So Crudin's is different. It whips around much more because he's coming with his back leg. But it's the same, like, the, the kick falls like a chop into the into the neck look at look at how John Patong is like smacking his gloves together I don't think he's worn gloves in like 30 years so my thought at this point was I am going to get head kicked so just try my best to like anticipate it So this is an important thing to watch with John Patong is that because he's because he's snuffing space the way that Crudin was on the pads, he's going to get hit. Like he's going to take things in order to stand in that spot from his opponent. But everything you throw, he downloads where your opening is going to be. Guys, this is one of my favorite things that ever happened for the Muay Thai library. These are brothers in their 60s messing around like they're 12 in the gym. Like, this is how they spar together. You can't really see it on the camera, unfortunately. I was like so keyed into this. The expressions on their face of like who was in charge at any given moment. Again, Gulab Kao on the right is the older brother, and he's letting John Patong demonstrate these kicks in the head. But John Patong's starting to like make them a little bit more serious. <laughs> it's enough to protect myself, but I'm like, I don't really want to throw this punch because I feel open. <laughs> he hit me so directly. That looked like nothing on video. It's one of these things where you get hit and you're like, holy shit, that was hard. And then when you see it on video, it's right like nothing. It's really good for you. It was so accurate. He just smacked my hand down and punched over it. That same thing that he and his brother have this kind of right that like comes across. <laughs> it hurts and it's very accurate. They go through with that punch. <laughs> So Gulab Kao is showing me what he's doing. He's, he's using his 
front arm <laughs> to bat down the opponent's front arm and then cross like over it, and you like yeah. just so. totally catch them off guard. <laughs> oh, he nailed me in the nose with that. It was like <laughs> it was fast. See how still he is, and then he just hurts you. This is one of the things that first made me love Muay Thai so much is that, you know how like in Kung Fu there are like animal forms, so there's the crane is like a crane, the snake is like a snake. Some, many Muay Thai fighters, but some more than others, he very much is like this, are like fighting fish where they just float at a distance and then it's like whoosh, and then just like float again. See how he just stands there like calm as, and then just bop like there's no like explosion it's just suddenly yeah. like the quick draw <laughs> Crudin came up and is like uh keep that hand up <laughs> he's doing with his feet watch his feet when he does this see how he just barely steps forward it's like two inches <laughs> you can see my face i'm like he moves in a little bit he doesn't step out, he moves in. He steps in, yeah. He's 60, and he has not done any Muay Thai in 30 years. Oh my goodness. So I'm, I'm telling Kevin what John Patong, yeah, I think he kicked the bag uh, a good cow told me, but John Patong is 60. <laughs> and has not done any Muay Thai. The way Gulab Kao tells it, he has not worked out or done anything in 30 years. And he just shows up and like, boop, head kicks. When you go kick someone's neck in the ring, you know you're kicking their neck rather than like, ugh, it might land, not sure. See how my head tips over to the side in order to get my leg up? That's because of my flexibility status. You might not be flexible, not everyone's flexible, but that's still a head kick, so. My head has to come over a little bit. John Patong doesn't. So I'm understanding that you have to be ready to throw this kick at all times. You have to have your footwork and your like weight balance correct to be able to throw it at any moment. Because your opponent presents the opportunity out of a split second. And you have to be ready to throw it. You can't be like, uh, miss that one, uh, miss that one, because your feet aren't right. So when you're training, you're like body, body, head, right? Because you can't just throw head kicks all the time. People know. So this is Gulab Kao. He's like, he's like, you throw here, you move around. You throw here, you throw up. Like you basically want to play with your rhythm and timing of that head kick. It's looking a little bit more similar. So, Gulab Kao is saying, like, make sure it's high enough so that you're not clipping the shoulder. So, when you're using your front leg, so like your lead leg, when you kick, you want to come down and then return to your regular stance. If you're going to kick twice, put it behind you. But if you're just kicking once and then coming off, you want to like correct your stance. <laughs> so this is, this is John Patong's like right cross left kick. And I'm like practicing it. And Gulab Kao's like, like he's so fast when he does this. Like, Jump a tongue was so fast. Soy? I got a soy? It has to stay so close. It's like the golden kick times a thousand, like up the side. This is the thing about his kick. It is just, it rides straight up and over. It's like the golden kick, but like tight. So a lot of people love to drop their hand when they're throwing a punch. That's perfect opportunity for jump a tong. Yeah, it's like it's like bop bop, like one. 
his punch kick is very fast. Some people will put like a little like pacing in there. His is like one thing. Ah. So Glove Cow is making this point as well. He's like, you want the punch and the kick to just come so that they're still responding to the punch when the kick is hitting them already. They're rights are the same as each other. They're just like, like a hammer. Like a cross. The, the Nor Nanta Chai brothers and their right crosses are just nasty. Oh, so. See how it comes down? He like drags the knuckles down. You see how short it is? I felt how short it was. Yeah, but it's a right cross and he covers distance with it, but it's actually a very short punch. It's like it's like scraping down your face as he's landing it. So that is John Patong. He is the younger brother of Gulab Kao, who runs the Jitmung Nan Gym in Bangkok and was also a 135-pound uh, Raja Damnern champion, and uh, he is also in the Muay Thai library. So if you enjoyed this excerpt, I recommend you watch the full hour session with John Patong and Gulab Kao. We also have a full hour with Gulab Kao in the library. You can watch both of those as a patron. Click on the link in the description below. It's easy to become one. And while you're there, there's more than 110 hours of long-form instruction with the greatest legends, crews, all the Muay of Thailand, Lots of documentary projects, interviews, things like this. Tons to learn. There's so much there. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.